Hi, I'm Luke Cabarrus, and this is... Jen English. Hi, Hi Luca. Jen. How are you doing? <laughs> well, we're going to have a fun time today. Jen can't cook. <laughs> no, right? I can't. You no, can't cook. Not well, at all. Could you move that but knife But I can over? hold just, a knife. Yeah, just move it over just a little bit. Okay. Well, Jen can't cook. I'll You're cook. on a culinary journey, and we're going to make some great dishes today, Jen. You ready? I'm so excited. Excellent. We're going to do a Greek-inspired salmon with feta and spinach, and then we're going to make a nice little uh, white wine sauce for it with tomatoes. And then we're going to do a Spanish-inspired chicken dish. Sounds good. My two favorite things, salmon oh, really? and chicken. Oh, okay. I thought it was the Greek and Spanish. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. So, wait, you good with that? <laughs> I am. All right. We're going to have some pancetta or bacon into the, into the chicken. We're going to have some great flavors. It, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And Jen's a blast. And she's going to do everything. I'll be leaving the show as of, uh, in the next two minutes. That's scary. <laughs> it is. But don't go away because your culinary journey starts now. Hey everybody, welcome back to A Culinary Journey. I'm here with Jen English, one of my good friends from Clark Distributors. Oh, thanks Luca. Oh, you're very welcome. You're one of my good friends. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and we're just gonna stop there. I, just... Wanted, I just want to enjoy that moment. <laughs> Not too many people say that to me, so I'm really glad. <laughs> it's because I'm cooking for you today. Let's just take saying. a moment. Yeah, let's just enjoy it. Just savor it. One more time. There you go. All right, savoring. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Yes. Salmon, chicken, great food. Really easy to make. So you, you have a couple of kids. Yes, two. You work hard. You I both do get work home. Hard. You're after work. You're all no, tired. Yes. You don't want to make all this food, right? Exactly. My okay. husband does the cooking. He does? All of it. Awesome. Yeah, he's a great cook. On purpose? Well, I don't cook, so, okay. <laughs> so, so maybe this might, make this might be may, might be something you might I know, make for I need him. to impress him. Exactly. Like with these skills out of nowhere. All right, so we're gonna do that today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some salmon, real uh, just plain Atlantic salmon, and we're gonna top it with our spinach and our feta cheese to make like a little topping, and then we're gonna make a sauce for it. Really simple. That good. Uh, the only thing I'll need is lemon. Make sure I have a lemon right over here. I do. All right, and this is our this is what's called mise en place. Mise en place. Mise en place means everything in its place. And this is everything we need. So I, like I need it. you to get the salmon. Just to get it. That in the, I can do. That's a refrigerator. Pull. There you go. All right. How beautiful is it? Isn't that a nice refrigerator? What do you think about my kitchen over here? I love this kitchen. Yeah. I'm not very jealous. Them. I know. They're amazing. <laughs> They're so good to me. All right, we got so our floor from them. Did you? Yeah. Awesome. We love We're going to put a little uh, salt, black, and white pepper on it because we want to see, we always season all right. our meats or proteins. Good. It's a, you're a like pro. It. Okay. <laughs> Don't put too much. <laughs> okay. Just keep going. <laughs> and then what I've done is preheated the pan with a little bit of oil, right? And we're going to sear, sear the salmon. So I want to get this up on a little bit higher. I All right. Salmon. You do? Good. I do. Now, how do you like it? Do you like it cooked on a little bit on the medium rare side? Do you like it cooked all the way through? All the way through. All the way through. I'm a well okay. done girl. You got it. So if you ever, ever I'm there, staying away from your burgers. My burger. <laughs> Apparently, you saw my burger show rare. here. That's okay. You could always cook those all the way through, especially my really big burger. Yes. Take about two or three days, but you can cook it all the way through. It shouldn't be a problem. So we're going to get our mise en place ready. We're going to get a couple of ingredients ready and leave them on our cutting board. You're going to help me out. Ready? Yes. All right. We're going to cut a shallot. I'm going to teach you how to cut a this shallot. This is a shallot. This is a shallot. It's, a, it's part of the onion family. It's really yummy, and I love using it all my cooking. Basically, what I do is cut right through. Okay. Did you sign a waiver? She didn't no sign a waiver. Okay. Big knife. And then, and then what I do to get my little nice chop, but you could cheat if you need to, is I cut through How and then I cut. How much time do we have on this show? We have, we have plenty of time. Don't worry about it. We got to get the salmon <laughs> cooked well just done. Keeps so going. yeah. No, oh yeah. Wait. Okay. Stop. How long do you do cutting in culinary school? Uh, a little bit longer than we have for the show. How's that? <laughs> Is that like a whole uh, semester? Oh, well, it could get there. And actually, they teach you. So is this you. when I can pull out my special thing? Here, let me, yeah, go ahead. You pull that out. 
I'm doing a nice Brunoise chopper. chopper. There you go. These things are the best. So try that one out. See what see how close we get to each other. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it works. <laughs> All right. I have mine right there. You just there. pick out the pieces you don't like. Right. Oh, is that how right, it works? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, but if you cook with your kids, my three-year-old loves to do this. Perfect. And, and when you know you've had the... a bad day, you just pull one of these things out. And one of the great things about cooking with kids is that you get them involved in the process. Absolutely. So if you have something like that, you can get them involved in the process. It's absolutely cool. And you know what? You're absolutely right. You want to be able to do things like that so that your kids go, wow, I want to do that with you, Mom, and they want to spend time with you instead of playing video games or and You can't give a three-year-old a knife. No, you can't? Oh, don't tell my wife that. So you're already, that already skipping to the next. Well, I'm going to cut some tomatoes because that's going to be a while while you're over there. <laughs> Basically, I'm, I'm dicing some tomatoes. <laughs> All right, so let me, let me explain something I'm doing. At some point, I have to teach somebody something. What? I'm, I'm dicing up the tomatoes a little bit small on this side, right? And what I did is I took the in outsides of the tomato out. Now, do you ever make, does your husband ever make his own tomato sauce? All the time. All right, so if you're using fresh tomatoes and you take these out, what you can do now is actually save those and add those to your tomato sauce. Oh, nice. Even if you buy canned tomatoes, which is, which you can do, but um, you just add that in so you don't have to waste it. So it's just one more product that goes back into what you're cooking. See, how do you get through this skin? Get through what skin? You know, you're, you're supposed to take some of that off. Oh. Did I forget to tell you that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so we seared one side of our salmon. I'm going to flip it over. Look at that beautiful sear mark we got on Ooh, there, right? That Isn't that is nice? Beautiful. So we're going to sear that and sear the other side. We're going to get those cooking up nicely. And then, once you sear this other side, in here, we're going to make our, our topping. So I didn't know you didn't use the insides. Well, I, what I like, I don't really want all those pits and I don't need all the meat and flesh in there. I just want the outside, the flesh from the outside. That's just a great way to do it. So I'm going to show you really one more time. That's mine. Because it's going to be, that's beautiful. See? And then great. that's the icky stuff. This, so what I'm going to show you one more time, kind of give you an idea. What you do is just go right through, right? Keep, take okay. all that to the side. You want to try one? Yes. All right, beautiful. You keep working on that. Because these can go in the chopper too. They can. What I, what I like to do, though, is cut off the edge. See, because you don't want that little end piece, right? I don't know. I usually throw <laughs> it in. <laughs> okay. And then we There's cut down. There's nothing you can't eat with vegetables, right? No, not at all. Really, you could, you could eat it all. So look at that. We got all our ingredients together, and we're, we're searing that salmon. I mean, we're giving a nice, real good sear. And I think one of the biggest differences from home chefs and, and restaurant Ow. chefs is that we actually let things cook. This and is that's, a sharp knife. <laughs> that is a sharp knife, yes. <laughs> okay, you are that. now officially going to be on every one of my shows. Nice. Be careful. Got it. All right, good it. job. I don't even think the camera's on me anymore. They're just showing you all Look that. Look it, and then I can chop. And then chop. I feel like we're an I like it somewhere. chunky. You like it chunky? There you go. Then you all just right. mix it in. Now. Let's move on to our next step. These are not cooked all the way through, so they're going to go in the oven. But we want to crust them, so let's turn this down because we're going to be making a sauce with that in a second. So we got that nice sear. Look at that. Look at that beautiful sear. Just bring it over here. And now, then. Now, what did you put in the bottom of that pan? Nothing? In the bottom of this pan? No, it was this just pan. A, oh, yeah. Oh, this one doesn't have anything. We're just going to add a little oil to that in a second. But this pan, I took off the heat. It's really smoking hot, really great for what we're going to do. But the next thing I'm going to do is just make. A Ooh, topping. That smells good. Doesn't it? The salmon? Wait, what is this method? Crunch a bunch of spinach? Crunch a bunch of, that's what it's called. Crunch a bunch of spinach. <laughs> You're just having fun chopping, aren't you? Yeah. And we're going to let the spinach. I'm trying to master one thing at a time. There you go. I think I need two or three shows with you, huh? I think so. Yeah. All right. Do you ever so do dessert show? I can. We could do dessert beers with it. All right. All right. Now you're talking. Now, next time you bring the beer, I really don't think you should be drinking. I while shouldn't cooking, be drinking though. while cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Which perhaps that's where I go wrong. Possibly. That's why. So what I'm going to do is just take the spinach. I think I need take, a bigger cutting board. <laughs> take some of the fat. <laughs> I don't think you're going to use any of my take, ingredients. No, no. I'm, I will. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're doing a very important part of what we're going to cook. There. I'm going to take the spinach and the feta, right? Yes. And season it with a little salt. Now Ooh, I'm gonna let, let me do the seasoning. No, 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 no. How about, how about pepper? <laughs> I want to do the seasoning. There you go. All right. 
When do you so, ever have seasonings this beautifully lined up? You don't. You need to have someone come all over your house and do that. That's what I it know. is. So what I'm going to do is take that spinach and feta that melted, right? Oh, and I'm going to put it right nice. over the top of each of these. Wait, can I do it? A... You want to do one of these? Yeah. There you go. You do that other one. All right. So I asked her if she wanted to sit and watch. She goes, I don't sit and watch. <laughs> I am the now center of the action. Why. Now I can see why, yes. This is so fun. I love learning new things. Ooh, you got to keep it on the fish. Oh. It's important. It is? All right. Yes, yes. All right. Good? We're there? All right. We're working. That's messy. fine. No, it's good. It's good. It's perfect. So you got that? Everybody checking that out? Beautiful dish. We got nice preparation. We're going to put that in the oven, 350 degrees. We want to bake the chip. 350. The, we want to bake the uh, fish the whole way through. Now in the same pan, just keeping all those same flavors, we're going to make a sauce for this. Ready? So we're going to add a little bit more oil. Yep. Where are your, where are your nice chopped tomatoes? Oh, I have a few. <laughs> I like to mix it all. <laughs> Do you want my shallots too? I want too? your shallots and your tomatoes, Ooh, yes. Okay. What about my spinach? No, Not no, yet. hold on to your spinach, yeah. Okay, See, anybody your... can cook. It's true. And thank you for all the, wow, this is a big shallot sauce. This is going to be good. Yes. All right. Let's cook this down. We're going to saute the shallots till they get nice and crispy. And the tomatoes will get nice and soft. So we're going to get these nice flavors in there. Season, please. See, your a little knife bit of can salt. even be a little. A little bit of salt and Ooh. pepper. Ta-da. I like to do the high. The high, yeah. For effect. Well, if you, if you do it right, it's the swirl. You ready? Oh. You do it right, you do this. Ooh. Then you look professional. And they say, I can't teach someone how to do this. Perfect job. Seasoned. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're just going to get that cooking in there. Now, what is the seasoning? That's a little white pepper. We're not going to use that. We use a little bit of that in the beginning on the, because that'll give it a little bit of spice. You don't want to go too spicy. No, uh, we all don't. right. So, some herbs. Remember, yeah. you, you had a yes. question about herbs. Yes, what these are. Can you find the dill? This is the dill. Perfect. There that you go. one I know. I would like you to do me dill. a favor. Chop up a little bit of dill and a little bit of rosemary. I need a bigger cutting board. You can. Here, I'm going to switch over to this one, okay? You stand here. I'm not sure I know rosemary. You stand here. Okay. Remember the one you asked me before what that is? That's rosemary? Rosemary. That looks like a Christmas tree? Yes, exactly. Your rosemary looks like a Christmas tree. Now, here's the important thing, though, with fresh herbs, and I want you to really, so if you use, that's great, right there. On one, one, you want to use all the leaves. You don't want to use any of the stems because they're really woody, and then you want to chop them nice and fine. But the big key is, um, using fresh herbs, oh, you put it in is. at the very last minute. Grow your own. And you grow your own. If you use dry herbs, though, if you have to because you can't get any or you don't have any, those you want to put in Something earlier on. Sorry about that. Me. That's me. <laughs> uh, those you want to put in earlier in the process where you want to get that in, let's say. You oh, want these now? Huh? No, no, no. I want to get those in when I'm starting to oh. saute if I'm, doing, um, if I'm doing dry herbs. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit of wine. To our tomato and the shallot wine mixture. The is the fun part. Yep. So you and just, just a little bit of vegetable stock. How do you not use the woody part of this? Uh, here, here, that's a good, great question. What you do is go from this side and pull, and you'll pull right up the stem, and mm. what you're going to get is just those. So just want a little bit of rosemary, because rosemary is pretty pungent. I like rosemary. You could use oregano also, but I like rosemary. You prefer and, it? And well, I like the way the flavor adds to the fish. It's, I know. It's really I always different. go with the oregano. Good yeah. to know. Yeah, and, and some people like it, some people don't. It's, if you like rosemary, you're going to love rosemary. If you don't, guess what? You're not going to like it no matter what I tell you about. So now we got our sauce cooking down. I'm going to add our herbs in a second. What I'm going to do, put a pat of butter in this thing just to give it a nice little shine and some extra flavor. I feel right. like my day started stressful, and now this is, like, relaxing. Well, that's what cooking should be. It should be nice and relaxing. I know, but usually in my life it's not. <laughs> okay. Well, you need to cook a little more. <laughs> I guess so. I bet your husband would be a little bit more relaxed if you did some of the cooking. I, I'm sure he would be. <laughs> <laughs> I slack on my nights. All right. So now look at our nice buttery sauce. Check that out. Ooh. See that? Now what I'm going to add to it, you asked me before, what's a roux? Yeah, I don't a know. A roux is a blend of butter and flour. That is basically a thickening agent. And you buy it? No, you actually make, you make it. it. Same portion of flour to butter, put it in a pan, let it cook down, and then as it cooks down, it starts creating this nutty, nutty flavor. Hmm. And that, that all that nuttiness adds to the flavor of what you're making, right? Yep. But it also helps thicken. So now our sauce is actually becoming a nice little thick sauce. See that? I see this. So right. flour, so butter. 
All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take Good. a quick little break now because our sauce is reducing. You're going to finish chopping that. When we yes. come back, our salmon is going to actually be finished cooking because we need to get it well done for her. And when we come back, we'll try that out and get started on our Spanish chicken dish, which is going to have a whole lot of flavors. Really crazy. You're going to absolutely love it. So don't go away. Jen? Yes, I will still be here, I promise. I hope so. See you in a culinary minute. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Apparently, Jen, on break, had cutting board envy. And yes, took, took I have my a big board. board. <laughs> I was spilling everywhere. I think she took my knife, too. I yeah. have no more knife. You know what? I'm going to take the knife. How's that? Can I have the knife back? Mm, I guess. Okay. You, I have other jobs for you. Okay. okay. Right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off our salmon. All right? Because I want everybody to see what it looks like. And then you're going to eat it See, to hydrate. Afterwards. Yeah, just, just hydrate with our wonderful San Pellegrino. So we got... All right. So here we go. We're going to take a spoon and the sauce that we made, right? Yep. Nice combination of shallots, right? And tomato. You smell smells that? Smells so good. All right. And we're going to take some of that fresh herb. We're, just going to, we're not even going to cook it down. We're just going to kind of really? almost just dress the plate with it, see? Oh, yes. You chefs right do the little dressing. Yeah, a little dressing. And then, you know what? <laughs> that goes a long way. <laughs> So nice. Then, Presentation is everything. It really is. I mean, it makes a big difference. And some people say, oh, it's too tough to do that at home. It's really not. I mean, it's just as easy to do it at home as you do Your it Your kids just don't appreciate it. <laughs> exactly. But what, I feel like, do you put the lemon with this? No, we're going we're gonna to actually do that in a second. Hold on. There you go. Right over the top of that. I feel like I should right? cut it. That and then amazing. we'll just squeeze a little fresh lemon over the top of it. Now watch. You know how you get your pits of the lemon always end up everywhere? Mm -hmm. You squeeze up, no pits. Remember, folks, squeeze up. Squeeze up. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what would I do without you? And that's our first dish. How's that? You like it? I love it. Yeah? You want to eat it? Yes. Where's too bad. The you got, no, you, you can't oh. now. We got too much work to do. Oh, dear. You got to work on the second dish. Well, we can just take a bite. All right, you take a bite of that. Is this well done? Yeah, it should be. Let's see. Luca, can you get started on the second dish? You, I'm you, just going to sit here and You got it. A I'm just, bite. You know what? I'm just going to go start on the chicken. <laughs> I feel like I'm at home. That is delicious. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Look at that, huh? Mm. I might know what I'm doing. Actually, you made it. I made this. You made that. Delicious. At least she thinks she made it. That's all that matters. Here we go. Let's go start on the second I dish. I give the illusion. <laughs> it's all an illusion. All right. Look. Now, one of the things you mentioned to me when we when I wanted to make this dish is how you don't like your chicken. I don't like right? thick chicken. Right. So this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. If we were at home, we'd have a little more time to clean our cutting board. Yeah. yeah or not. We're, we're just gonna make it happen. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off scallopini of chicken right here. Scallopini. And that just means little medallions, right? But when you say it in a different and, language, and it, it, it always sounds better, it doesn't really it? It really does. <laughs> All right. Now, your job is to take our scallopini and make them look a little bit bigger. So we're going to, what would you do to me? I don't one? know. Hold one side. There you go. Okay. This will work. Put one piece here, one piece here, okay. one piece here. Four scallopinis. Scallopini. Oh, scallopinis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take the other piece of your plastic wrap. Put it over the top. Ta-da. I feel like a magician right now. Scallopinis. What we're going to take here is our, our meat mallet. Yes, I'm magically going to transform this wonderful uh, pan, silver Swiss diamond pan, into a meat mallet. So, not the spoon. <laughs> Look, what you're going to do is just it's take the bottom, heavy bottom pan. Now this is more just make like nice my thin. thickness. All right? Yes. There you go. I'm going to go clean my hands real quick. Don't hurt yourself. Don't All worry. Right. Beautiful. I'm a professional. <laughs> you are a professional. <laughs> All right. Don't try this at home. One thing we're gonna add, we're gonna start while you're getting that Ooh, ready. Move your hand. <laughs> while you get stop. <laughs> while you're getting that ready, we're gonna get nice the sauce. We're gonna get part of the sauce for this dish ready. <laughs> and one is the pancetta. We're gonna actually cook. We're gonna add the uh, the chicken to the pancetta. So here we go. This is pancetta. You know what pancetta is? I don't know. Pancetta is a is a cured bacon. Mm. So if you look at it, it looks just like bacon, right? It does, yeah. But it's cured. You actually could eat it the way it is. Do you like to eat, try different things? Mm -hmm. Try it. Okay. I can't believe she's trying. Am I? Yeah, you are. All but of it's it? A, no, it's all a little bit. It's hard to bite off. Oh, yeah. A little chewy, right? Mm-hmm. Very chewy. Right. What we're going to do with that, it's like bacon bubble gum. Mm. Yeah? yeah? Too chewy? <laughs> 
Well, what Yum. we're going to do with the I'll punch. I'll be doing this for the next week. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, we might have invented something. I think Lee would Is love... this to get me to stop talking? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I told You're you. not on this. I, I, I told you I'd show you, I'd tell you when. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to add our pancetta. We're going to add a little bit of extra good, virgin though. olive oil to it. It's got great flavor. It's going to add a lot of flavor. This is a Spanish dish. We're going to add a lot of different flavors to it. But I want the pancetta to reduce down. <laughs> I'm say, not spitting it out. No, hang over there. Hurry up back because I, I need you for the next step. You're going to dredge the chicken. Dredge it? Yes. You know I like the sound to that. <laughs> you know what dredging the chicken means? I have means? no idea. You're going you're gonna to put it in the flour. And basically what you're going to do, I'm going to show you how you do it real quick, is getting a little flour on one side, a little flour on the other. Oh, no, I know this. I just don't call it dredging. dredging. You call it flouring the chicken? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, do you know why we flour it? Well, you're gonna, it's going to make a little brown. It helps it brown. It also protects it. And it, it also keeps it nice and moist, keeps the moisture now, in. Now, this is a good so, thickness. Yeah, that is, that's the way a scallopini should be. Why do we cut it that thin? Besides the fact that that's the way you want it. Is one because I think it cooks it'll better. cook quicker, and if it cooks quicker, you're not going to dry it out and more evenly. Well, and you don't want it raw in the center. Right, right. See how we're getting that pancetta nice and crispy on there. Some of those pieces are getting crispy. The other pieces with the fat, those are going to cook into our sauce, and then we're going to start. You put pepper in this flour. I put a little white, a uh, little black pepper, and I put a little bit of sea salt too. Sea salt. I'm sorry, kosher salt. Did I say sea salt? You did. How's that sound? Because you think you're still at sea. I'm, I'm saucy. I'm salty or saucy? Okay, we're getting our chicken in there. Now, what's great about... How much flour are you going to put on? I there? just want it to be well covered. Okay. <laughs> and then, now, one thing about doing this in, in, with a thin chicken, so most of the time you, you'll eat it, if someone does that big piece of chicken, they have to bake it in the oven. Right. And then part of it gets really dry, the other part's not cooked all the way through. What's great about this is one pan, it's going to be all done on the top of the stove, on medium-high heat, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, what I need you to do for me yes. is cut me up some peppers. Just cut them up in long strips, okay? Now, while she's cutting up the peppers, what I'm going to add to our flavors here are a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of coriander, and cumin. I want to get those Spanish cumin. flavors in there. Is that good? I don't know. You don't know? Have you ever had cumin? It's like the name. Oh. I'm sure <laughs> I have. I'm telling you, I've just I cooked cook with oregano. With you, day, you know what? You're <laughs> Thanks, making fun. Luca. There we go. All right, so we have our flavors in there. I'm going to get some shallots in there. How about I cut these shallots? Is that okay? Oh, wait. Yes. I, need a, I need a knife. Because I know the yeah. film crew wants to go home. They want, they, they want us to be point. done at some point. All right, I'll cut the half. shallots. I really have a small cutting board. Is this now like you know a, how I felt. Yeah. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing here. I <laughs> do, need to cook more. <laughs> do they guess? How are we doing? Oh, beautiful. Always Perfect. get a small. They always get the small cutting board. That's all right. When I had Leon as a guest, he was upset about the small cutting board too. So, all right. So we got peppers, shallots, nice cooking around. You know how? See how that's nice browning up? Yep. The pancetta is browning up nicely. We're gonna add some sherry wine to this mix. Ooh, nice, right? How come you didn't let me set it on fire? <laughs> Is that a question to ask me? <laughs> yes. But that was impressive. I like it. You were impressed. I didn't even know that was coming. I know you didn't. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This show, this I show love it. officially is. It, he, I, uh, I don't even okay. know how that happened. Slow motion. <laughs> I always had a comment about I can only do that once, but per show at least. Per show. All right. oh. Let's go. Let's go a little bit of tomato in there. I'm going to chop up some tomato. You remember how to do that? Yes. You got to do it a lot quicker because my, mm. my sauce is cooking. I really need it now, so. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of our vegetable stock to this too. Some nice Center. flavors in there. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Citrus and chicken love to go together. Did you squeeze up? Well, uh, no, I squeezed down. Oh. I didn't have any, see? Oh, no, yeah. Oh, you used the same one? Yeah, so I made sure that all the pits were out. There you go, so we're gonna let that reduce now too. The chicken's cooking in there. We got some great flavors. As, as usual, I season as I go. I know you like to do this part, but I'm gonna do it. Well, I'm busy over here. White pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and this now we're going we're gonna to add our roux. This Remember is why what I'm, roux is? Yes, it is flour and butter. Nice. Equal parts. Equal parts. Now what's great, actually for me, this chicken, this chicken dish is done great if you use a um, chicken thighs. You like chicken thighs? No. You're only white meat. 
Only white meat. She's, she's white meat pretty much. And so that's why we went that direction. But if you use the chicken thighs, you can almost braise them a little in the sauce where they kind of sit in the sauce for a little bit. But we're going to get these chicken out of here because we don't want them to overcook or dry up. So we're going to thicken up our sauce. I'm going to put some tomatoes in there before the night's over. Hey. I'm sorry. I am cutting. <laughs> you keep cutting the tomatoes. Throw them in there whenever you get a chance. This is where I have trouble cooking because there's so many things have to happen at once. Tell me about it. Try filming it too. That's always an interesting concept. All right. Ta-da! Tomatoes in the pot. Perfect. Woo. You ready? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Put your chicken. Look at that. It's nice and tender. It's moist. It's got great flavor. And look at this sauce, how nice it came out. I know, got, that's beautiful. I have some cilantro on there. You want to cut me some cilantro? Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like parsley. There you go, cilantro. You know what cilantro is? You know the coriander? I meant, did we mention cumin and coriander before? Mm -hmm. Coriander is the seed, and it blossoms into cilantro, the leaf. Yes, And. but I don't want the stem. You don't want the stem. So this is going to be a Unless day, you're making a pesto. A day-long process. Yeah, no, I just need a little bit. The sauce is done. You didn't give me much warning. You know what? Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go away for a second, <laughs> clean up a little bit, and then uh, we're going to come back. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, we'll stay here. Okay, let go. Stop, stop. Okay. I'll just take that. <laughs> some fresh cilantro last minute, and we spoon it right over the chicken. And we've got this beautiful, beautiful chicken dish. It's got a little it bit beautiful. of pancetta, sherry wine, red peppers, tomatoes. Oh, that looks nice. Wow. It? Yes. All what right. are we going to dress the plate with? I don't know. How about a, a little, little sprig of cilantro? Or I feel something? like we need a drizzle. We need a drizzle of something. All right, when we come back, I'm going to create a drizzle <laughs> of something. Hey, listen, let's take a break. Let's clean up so we can eat both of these dishes. I like that. Don't go away. We'll be back in a culinary minute. With a drizzle. <laughs> All right, this is officially the longest show I've ever had to do. And I mean, you're surprised two by this. <laughs> well, I had a great time, Jen. Thank you very much. Thank you. It this is so good. I learned a lot, too. All right, so you know how to cut or no. use your chopping tool. Chopper, thing. use the chopper. We also made this great chicken dish. You got to try it out. It's got spice, it's got flavor, it's got the pancetta. You got all these great flavors together. I'm still we got eating the salmon. The great salmon dish. She's going to eat. Mm. Cheers to you. Mm. Thank you very much. Cheers. And Thank you. I had a great time. Hope you did, too. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. We'll see you next time on A Culinary Journey. Cheers.